This is Brittany with SLPMaterialGirl.com, here to talk about my newest product, Vocal and Written Expressive Language Tool. Um, before we begin, let me give a quick disclaimer. So, though I am a licensed speech-language pathologist, the intention of this video is not to provide therapeutic intervention. I am not providing medical advice or treatment, and SLPs and viewers are to use any information uh, provided at their own risk or discretion. Please post a comment below if you agree or disagree with anything you see today, and also, uh, if you'd like to support my channel, please hit the like or subscribe button if you want to see more from me. It's a free way for you to support me with YouTube. All right, let's get on with it. So this tool is very similar to the um, expanded expression, some expanded expanding expression products you'll see out there, um, but it was developed by me. Uh, it is intended, like I said, for use by school-based SLPs and you know elementary school uh, English language art teachers. But I just wanted to show you guys, so let's let's click around. You'll get uh, different graphic organizers, and you'll also get um, some worksheets for students. I believe there's three different types. So this is describing the tool. Here is an example. Here's the blank uh, worksheet for the student to fill out. So I've got some examples here to um, enable the SLP to teach the student how to use the graphic organizer. I've got the graphic organizer there. I've got, I have it in a different format, more of a pyramid shape. Um, this is for your younger, you know, younger students. Another example. Uh, here's your blank worksheet, blank worksheet with some fill in the blank lines. And then I do actually have a version for even younger students. Um, we're talking, you know, first, second grade with the ants crawling up the hill and you're uh, using your descriptors to broaden your um, vocal and written expression, the student is. Another example provided to use as a teaching tool. But yes, this, I'm not doing a very good job at explaining this, but uh, the point of this tool is to broaden and enhance sentences with use of descriptors. Um, so just like EET. Um, but that is a registered trademark that I have no affiliation with. Uh, but it's, you know, you're going through the, you're going, you know, the student is going through this graphic organizer, figuring out what color an object is, what size it is, what shape, what does it feel like, what's it made of, where can it be found, what can it do, what group of family does it belong to, and then anything else, any fun facts. I'll leave this up on the screen for a minute if you want to read this example. So what color is it? This chocolate Labrador, it's usually brown with brown eyes. What size is it? A large breed of dog, sometimes tall enough to put its head on the kitchen table. Um, you've got all these great descriptors to use this, to, you know, the, to enable the student to write or talk about the chocolate Labrador in a um, much more broad and uh, expressive way. It really increases their expressive ability of talking about um, an object. I also include with this um, some stimuli cards. They're all holiday and seasonal themed. Um, so we've got Halloween, fall, Thanksgiving, winter, Christmas, Valentine's Day, St. Patty's Day, spring, and then I believe, uh, Easter, and then summer. So you've got all your major holidays and seasons that you'll go through during the uh, during the school year. And this uh, this about I believe there's 149 cards here. I actually am I'm positive it's 149 cards. Um, yeah, so you get all these great stimuli cards to use with your new vocal and written expressive language tool. At this point, I'm just rambling. So if you're interested in this product, uh, you can go to slpmaterialgirl.com uh, to find it. You can also go on Teacher Pay Teacher. I'm going to leave two links in the description box below for you to purchase this, or if you just want to click in and check it out, um, I encourage you to do so. I have other products on those sites. Um, you can also check out if 
you're interested in uh, something in the SLP world material wise. Thank you so much if you're still with me. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day and take care.